Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to insert new values or records into your multiple worksheets in a VBA user forum. So let's start a tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application. At this moment in the sheet 1 and sheet 2 contains zero records. Now let's add student ID 1. Student name is Charan. Gender I am adding male. English 45. Max 56 and um, 45. And I click add new record. Notice here we got student ID 1. 45, 56, 45 and the grand total 146 and if you check in the student sheet 1 also see 1 Sharon student and Sharon and male gender now let's add another records student ID 2 student name I am adding this time is Jack and let's add Rose uh, Rose female and uh, 78 67 89 and I click add new record here we've got 234 the total of these marks and in the student details we got student ID 2 role and female now if you check in the student 2 see we got the record If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. If you notice in book 1 excel sheet contains at this moment sheet 1 and sheet 2. And the sheet 1 contains some student information, student number, student name and the gender. And if you check in the student 2, uh, sheet 2, which contains student ID, English, Max, Computers and Totals. So, in the sheet 2 contains student marks and in the sheet 1 contains student information. Now my aim is I want to insert new records at a time both sheet 1 and sheet 2 in the student table, student information table and the student marks table at a time using VBA code user forum. So first let's add one user forum. For that go to dollar and dollar there is a visual basic click that one. And here we got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Now in this application, we require to add one user form. For that, click go to insert, click user form. And here we got the user form design page. Let me expand this user form so we can add the controls. First, let's add some label here. The first label name I'm changing to student ID. Student ID. Let's copy this one first here the second one is the student name and the third one the third one is the student gender gender and the fourth one is the is the marks what are the marks we have here english max computers and the total and the total Caption I'm changing to English. Max. Computers. And the final one is the total. I'm not adding any total here. Just uh, the total I want to add automatically. So now we require the text box. So before that we need to add the font size within case. It's not uh, displaying clearly. Bold, 11, okay. Okay. Now we'll add the text box for the student ID. The text box in the text box one properties, I'm changing the name, text, student ID let's copy this one and paste here copy paste this is the text box text student name 
gender for the gender I'm adding combo box combo box CMB gender gender and the text box for the English text English and this one is a max text max and the last one is a computers text computers let me adjust these controls let me put this all in the center uh, here in the design i'm not concentrating on the designing part much so i'm leaving as it is only now let's add one button control i'm adding one button control here and this button control i'm changing the label to add new record and i'm changing this font to i'm increasing the font 11 and auto size 2 auto size 2 now the next step is we need to add some items in this gender so let's select the user form that will put that one here we've got the user form click event but we require the user form initialize let's add the initialize i'm deleting the click event in the user form initialize uh, it's a combo box not for the gender is a combo box cmb gender dot list in the list i'm adding array the gender I am adding male and female. Female. That's it. Now I can switch over to the designing page. Now select the add new record. Double click that one. And here we got the command button click event. Now the coding part here to insert records in the both worksheets is first let's add declare one game ws and i'm defining one variable for worksheet worksheet then uh, then we require in this worksheet i require the sheet name first i want to insert records in the sheet one uh, which are the student number student name and the gender so let's set ws is equals to sheets in this sheets i'm adding the sheet one the sheet name we have to add exact the sheet uh, exact name of the sheet then i'm defining one variable add new rec which is add new record ws dot cells in this cells the row index the row index is rows dot rows dot count I'm counting one dot and Excel up Excel up dot offset offset one comma zero then we require the row now after counting the rows and this add new record and now the next step is let's put uh, with statement and with now here cells in the cells notice here the cells takes two parameters row index and column index the row index we are getting from add new record add new red comma and the column index which is one the column index one is nothing but student number column index one column index two is student name and column index three is gender so let's add that one and here text box student id dot value 
let's copy this one so it's the just we need to change the column numbers here first column is a student ID second column is a student name and the third one is the uh, gender and also we need to change the text box names also text box student ID student name and this one for the gender we have added combo box uh, that's it and again we require uh, let's copy this one for the sheet 2 uh, I'm not changing anything the coding part here let's add the WS1 here we don't require to change WS1 2 3 uh, this one student ID and this one is the text box English text sheet English max competition total English text max dot value and this one is the fourth is text computers value and after that dot cells instead of writing the same code let's copy this one and paste here uh, before that we need to add one text total that's total what we do is let's switch over to the user forum I will add one label control here. Label. Label. Total. Total. Again, switch for here. And this one, label. Label total. The caption we need to change. Sorry for that. Label 7. This is the label 7 we require. The label total. Sorry for that. Now again switch over to the coding part. Now the label name is the label total. Label total dot value caption the caption caption is equals to now value uh, value text box english dot value here text english dot value plus val method text max dot val value plus val method text text competence dot val value now all these three I, I am count I am adding these three English max and computers mm -hmm. the result whatever we get I am adding in this label total and this total changes fifth column lab total dot Caption. That's it. Now let's check the final output. I'm running this application, and here we got the final output of our application. At this moment, in the sheet one and sheet two, contains zero records. Now let's add student ID one. Student name is Charan. Gender I'm adding male. English forty five. Max fifty six and um, 45 and I click add new record notice here we've got student ID 1 45 56 45 and the grand total 146 and if you check in the student sheet 1 also see 1 Sharon student and Sharon and male gender now let's add another records 
student I2. Student name I'm adding this time is Jack. And let's add Rose. Uh, Rose, female, and uh, 78, 67, 89. And I click add new record. Here we've got 234, the total of these marks. And in the student details, we got student that is two, role and female. Now, if you check in the student two, see, we got the record. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to insert a new values or records into your multiple worksheets from a VBA user forum coding. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share, and leave your comment below. Thanks for watching. Catch you in my next video tutorial.